So first, I'm going to go in and prime my face. Okay, now that we've primed, it's all ready to go. Now we're ready for some foundation. So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless in shade 312. And apply that all over my face using a beauty brush. So I just take some on my hand. Take some product on my hand. I'm going to transfer it from all over my hand using the beauty blender and just add that all over my so I'm putting it all over. I usually just start at the end of my face and work my way in. So you want to apply that everywhere on your face. I'm together at the end, I promise. Okay. Okay. Now it's time to go concealer right here. I'm almost running out, it's almost time to get a new one, but I promise you this lasts a very long time. If you're looking for a really good full coverage concealer that's not drying, I really recommend this. And I like a really bright under eye. So I apply a lot underneath my eye. Because <clears throat> I feel like when you're looking at my face, the first the first thing you're gonna see is my eyes and underneath of my eyes to my makeup. So I like this part of my makeup slate all the time. I feel like it's a game changer once you have like a bright under eye. Okay, so I'm gonna put that underneath of my eyes into very big triangle motions and then underneath of my chin. And I'm gonna apply this on the bridge of my nose, just like that wait maybe two to three minutes and then go back in with your beauty blender you can spray it with a setting spray or a um like a facial spray spray your beauty blender and then go back in and really blend that into your skin so i'm gonna let this dry for about two to three minutes and i will be back okay so now that the concealer has dried on my skin i've already sprayed my beauty blender with the mario badasco facial spray i use the one with aloe sage and or uh orange blossom excuse me uh this is my holy grail so i spray this with my beauty blender and i'm just gonna go in i usually start with my chin and then i move up to the middle of my forehead and just blend my concealer in and then I get the bridge of my nose. See how it's just blending in seamlessly. You want it to be a good mixture. You don't want to see concealer and then pop it. You want it to be blended seamlessly. And then we're going to go on the bridge of our cheekbones. And with this, we're just we're not gonna we're not gonna blend it up, okay? Because that's where we're gonna put our uh, powder contour. So I'm gonna blend this in. Now. Okay, now that our concealer is nice and blended, we're time is ready time for us to set our face. So we're gonna use the Juvia's uh, Place Setting Eye and Magic Setting Powder and White Sands, and we're gonna usually we're gonna set it all over our face. So a trick that I like to use um, before uh, taking the beauty blender and actually baking our face. So usually what I do is I take a nice compact face brush and I just dip it into the, the product, get some powder with uh, tapping off the excess and I just simply put that all over my face, pressing it into my skin. So at the same time, it's setting the rest of my face. What I'm gonna do right now, I usually uh, my nose contour um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now so I use the Marc Jacobs those the Marc Jacobs tan trick uh, contouring powder so I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush this is a Morphe uh, contouring brush of my forehead
would have to. Okay, so now that it has that is contoured, have a little bit more color back into my face, I'm going to do my cheeks. So a trick to contour your cheeks is the fish, uh, the fish lip, um, where you go like this. So just repeatedly blending until desired. Now that that's blended, I'm gonna go back and do this side. So you wanna take a little bit of that bronzer. If you see, there's only a little bit on my brush. And I'm just gonna take it and go on my actual jawline more. In my jawline. I know we look crazy, but I promise, like I said before, it's all gonna come together. So while we're waiting for our face to bake, we're gonna go ahead and do our eyes. So if you haven't noticed already, I have eyelash extensions. Um, these are not strips, these are individuals. Um, I recommend them to anybody who does their makeup every day, especially with my job. Um, I am in the military, so this makes it getting uh, ready a lot easier just up ready and go just I all I have to worry about is doing my face I don't have to put on no mascara or strips and boom now our eyes are done for right now because we're gonna go in and add some uh, some under eye eyeliner and some eyeshadow so now we're gonna wait about two more minutes and wipe this bake off okay now that everything is blended we are going to add some blush on the button of our nose. I know that might seem crazy, but I just like the look of a little, like my nose is a little sunburned. I just like that look a lot. So we're gonna take a little bit of this. I barely touched the pan. I bought the access, and I'm going to put it on the button of my nose. Barely. Now it looks like our nose is just like a little sunburnt from the sun. I like this look a lot. So now we're gonna actually, since we just applied the, bl the blush, the same thing we did with our contour, just clean it up at the bottom of it. We're going to take this and we're gonna carve it out again and we're gonna let this bake. So we have a sharp line so our cheekbones look more defined. So we're gonna let that sit there for about two more minutes and then wipe it off. So now that it's been two minutes, it's time to wipe that powder off. So same thing, we're gonna take a big fluffy brush and we're just going to wipe it off. And blend it up so it's not a very sharp line. Just blend it all together. So now, with our eyes, I'm going to add some white eyeshadow. Yeah, I'm going to add some of the white shadow and the Morphe um, palette. So I'm going to take this big white eyeshadow, take it to the pan, take a brush, and I'm just going to put that in the corner of my eyes. I feel like it, it opens your eyes, it opens your eyes up. Now it's time for highlighting, my favorite part. So I'm going to take a small, I use an eyeshadow brush for this part to add highlighter to my nose. So I'm gonna take an eyeshadow brush, a fluffy one, and this is like a light, a light highlighter, nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna put it on the button of my nose and the bridge of my nose. 
I go very lightly with this because I don't want to make it seem like I have a white line. Okay, so that's it for our nose. So now it's time to add the highlighter on our face. So I'm going to take a, a highlighting brush, spray it, just as we did with the smaller brush, and I'm just going to pan. I'm going to highlight my forehead a little bit, and I'm going to put on my chin. And my favorite part on my cheeks. I like a light highlight. I don't like uh, looking like a glazed donut because I like a that look. So right there is good enough for me. Same on the other side. I'm gonna take this and put it on my cheek. Okay. Now that highlight is all done. Just blending that. It's time to set our spray, set our face with setting spray. So I'm going to use the Mario Vidascio facial spray to set my face. Um, so I'm going to take this and just spray it all over my face. I like spraying it all over my face and then fanning it to dry it. Huda Beauty matte lipstick. So I'm gonna use a like a nude uh, rosy pink and I'm just gonna add this in the middle of my bottom lip and liner and our actual lipstick. I am going to go do my hair and I will be back with the final look. Okay guys, this is the final look. Uh, I pop, pop some colored contacts in and I just threw my hair into the sink and put some product in it. And this is the final look. I am now ready to go to the movie with my boyfriend. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. You was mad, but I ran to you. Let's start fresh.